All right, so now we have 7.3 linear equations in their graphs. Linear equations are equations whose graph is a line, so it creates a line like you saw in Lesson 7.2. In a linear equation, variables are the first power only, so there's no squares, no third powers. It's just like y equals 2x plus 1 or 9x minus 15y equals 7. So those are going to give you linear equations lines. So now let's go ahead and graph this, and we, we right now are using 0, 1, and 2. So we're going to see what happens if we put x is 0. So 2y minus 4 equals 4 times 0. That was what I needed to see. So again, we're solving equations. This is going way back, so you got to remember you're solving equations. Draw your mirror. Okay, opposite operations, we don't have to worry about parentheses or anything else. We're just looking at adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So first we're going to do the addition subtraction. This gives us the 0. 2y equals the 4. Opposite operations, divide by 2. y equals 2. So if x is 0, y is 2. We do that equation again. And this time we make the x 1. 2y minus 4 equals 1, or equals 4, pardon me. And now we have our mirror. Add 4 to both sides. This gives us that 0. 2y equals 8. Opposite operations. Divide. y equals 4. One last time. 2 y minus 4 equals 4 times. So again, this is our equation. 2y minus 4 equals 4 times x, which is 2 in this case. 2y minus 4 equals 8. Draw your mirror. Opposite operations. This is a 0. 2y equals 12. Opposite operation again. It's multiplication, so I divide. y equals 6. Now we're going to graph that. 0, 2, put you right there. 1, 4, so right there. And 2, 6, would put me right there. Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're going to connect those lines. And remember arrows at the ends of both of them because they go on forever. All right, let's graph another one. So again, we're looking at an equation. 6x minus 2y equals negative 2. We're going to start with x equals 0. So 6 times 0 minus 2y equals negative 2. 0 minus 2y equals negative 2. Remember to draw your mirror negative 2y equals negative 2. Opposite operations, y equals 1. What happens if x is 1? So 6 times 1 minus 2y equals negative 2. So I get 6, draw my mirror, sorry about that, minus 2y. Opposite operations, this is a positive 6. We're going to subtract it from both sides. This gives me a 0. I'm left with negative 2y equals negative 8. Opposite operations, y equals, sorry about that, y equals 4. So if x is 1, y is 4. Now what happens if x is 2? So we're doing a lot of substitution here, practicing our substitution over and over again. 12 minus 2y equals negative 2. Solving for the y, get rid of that 12 and the negative 2. Adding and subtracting first, it's a positive 12. Doesn't matter that that negative is there, it's a positive 12. 12 minus 12 does give me a 0, minus 2y. And negative 2, negative 12 is negative 14. Divide by negative 2, y equals 7. Opposite operation. So once again, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, 7. I'm using my ruler, and you need to either have a ruler or something else that you can do for your straight edge. And arrows on the ends of both. 
graphing using intercepts. X intercept is the X coordinate of the point where the line crosses at the X axis, so where it intercepts at the X axis. The Y intercept is where the Y coordinate of the point where the line intercepts the Y axis. So in this example, remember this is your X, here's your X intercept, it's where it crosses the X. Here's your Y intercept, it's where it crosses your Y. Now, the X intercept is when it crosses here and it crosses at negative 2, 0. So the X intercept is negative 2. Here it crosses at 0, 3 is the Y intercept, so the Y intercept is the 3. Okay, so let's see what happens. Now, if you're going to graph using the Y intercept, you want to know what happens when X is 0 and you want to know what happens when Y is 0. So you're going to take your equation and you're going to plug in a 0. So 4 times 0 for X, then I can see what happens to Y. This becomes 0, I get 3y equals 12, opposite operations, divide by 3, divide by 3, y equals 4. Alright, what happens when the y is 0? So we take the same equation, plug it in. So 4x plus 3 times 0 equals 12, draw your line, 4x equals 12, divide by 4, x equals 3. 0, 4, 3, 0. Now you really truly only need two points to graph. I would um, say that you should always pick at least three because if I did one of those points wrong then I can guarantee that my graph is wrong. But if I have a third backup point and it's way over here then I know something's wrong and it'll warn me. But if you're just going to use the x and the y intercept, I'm going to require you to do one more point to make sure that your graph is working. So you can do it before or after you draw it. So now we're going to see what happens when x is 1. So we'll do 4 times 1 and yep, plus 3y equals 12. 4 plus 3y, and make sure you have your mirror, equals 12. Opposite operations, positive 4 subtract the 4 from both sides, that gives me a 0, 3y equals 8, divide by 3, y equals 8 thirds. Kind of a little different, 3 goes into 8 two times with 2 thirds left over. So if I'm looking at 1 and 2 and 2 thirds, or 8 thirds, I should be looking at 1 and it goes up 2 and that looks pretty close to 2 thirds. So I'm just double checking that my graph was right. So you are required, even if you use the x and the y intercept in class, I expect you to do one more. Most of the time the problems you're going to have are going to just say graph and you get to choose what points you want to use. So the one thing I like to do is I like to use the x and y intercept and then pick one more number because Mrs. Barker requires three points in order to graph just to make sure you cop catch yourself. So here we go. I'm going to see what happens when x is 0, when y is 0, and then also what happens when x is 1. So first x is 0. So 4 times 0 minus 3y equals 12 negative 3y equals 12, divide by negative 3, y equals negative 4. What happens if y is 0? 4 times x minus 3 times 0 equals 12. You get 4x equals 12, opposite operations, divide by 4, x equals 3. The last one you're going to be doing is what happens if x is 1. You can use any three x's or y's you want as long as you're solving the equation. Opposite operations, subtract the 4 from both sides, negative 3y equals 8 over division on both sides. So my y is negative 8 thirds, and again, in order to graph it, I would want to change that to a mixed number. Negative 2 and 2 thirds is what this is. All right, 
So when y is 1, we get negative 8 thirds, which we're going to think of it as negative 2 and 2 thirds because I'll make it easier to graph. So we have 0, negative 4, 3, 0. And then when it's a fraction, what you might want to do is graph the line and use the fraction 1 as kind of just your checkpoint. So 1 and 2, negative 2 and 2 thirds, that's pretty close to, to 2 and 2 thirds. So I, I'm not worried. I'm thinking I'm pretty much on track for where it should be. Graphing a horizontal or a vertical line. So y equals 3. So that means it doesn't matter what x is, y will always be 3. So let's go ahead and make a t-chart and see what that looks like. So y will always be 3. Three. That's what that means. X can be whatever I want it to be. So 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3. And when you have a Y with no X information given, you get a horizontal line. Now, when you move on to an X, this time it tells us the X is going to be negative 4. So no matter what, the x is negative 4. So the y can be any numbers we want it to be. We just know x has to be negative 4. So negative 4, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 4, 2. And when you just have the x with no y given information like that, you're going to get a vertical line. So anytime you see just the x, x equals something, it will make the vertical line. Anytime you see y equals something, you get the horizontal line. If you forget, make a t-chart, and that will help you remember that that's what happens.